Hello, mga kaganap. We're back again to another special episode of Ganap TV Online. And tonight, we'll have to have a very beautiful guest. Not just one, but two beautiful guests. Okay, so, um, you know, without further ado, we're so excited to introduce our guest for tonight. Yeah. Hi, John. Hello, how are you? <laughs> you know, um, we are it's so lucky long long tonight. Time. Yeah, we're so lucky. Because aside from, you know, because I know you are wearing red. It's a lucky, yeah. uh, lucky yes. color. <laughs> of course. And also the Lumiere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So right now, um, I'm so excited to, to get to know more about uh, their pageant. So yeah. Actually, and you know, Bench, yeah. it's already um, pageant month, you know, that's pageant why you know, oh, it's so yeah. exciting, you know, uh -huh. to talk about, you know, the, the pageantry, mm -hmm. all the things that's going around. And like, you know, just recently, we just had our Miss Universe Philippines. Yeah. And now we're oh. going to have, um, you know, Miss Earth, you know, Miss international. Earth. And then okay, so uh, recently, all of, for all of this. Yeah, yeah, recently, we also crowned the uh, the Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Queen of Hearts, Queen of Philippines Hearts. 2020. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, you know. Yeah. And uh, you know what, John? Uh, this is connected to our guest because yeah. one of our guests for tonight is the owner of different pageants. I think seven or more pageants. So, uh, and the second guest is uh, Mrs. Worldwide 2019, Miss. Chua. So, Our first guest believes that dream is a picture of possibility and had turned it into reality. She is Mrs. Singapore Worldwide 2018 and with this title, she was given the opportunity to represent her beautiful country Singapore in Mrs. Worldwide 2019. She will hold this burning torch high up and illuminate the lives of the less fortunate ones in the society by educating those around her to spread positives vibes and assist the less fortunate ones. Welcome on Ganap TV online show, Ms. Fanel Chua. Our next guest is international brand builder, founder of Mrs. Worldwide, Mrs. Asia Pacific, Mrs. Global Universe, founder at Asia Pacific Queen of Substance Awards, founder at Miss Singapore Lumiere International World, national director at Miss Singapore Tourism. Founder at Mrs. Global Universe, Founder and Chairman at Mrs. Asia Pacific Beauty Pageant and President, Organization, at Mrs. Global Universe. Welcome on the show, Ms. Justina Quek. Hi everyone, Hello. thank you. Ah yes, welcome to Ganaf TV Online. And we're so excited and honored um, you to be in our show, both of yeah. you, Jasina yeah. and Panel. Yeah. And you know what, John? Miss Jasina is, is a friend of mine. I think it's three years ago already. So you know, thank you so much, uh, Miss Jasina, for you know we always gracing uh, our show. Yeah, for gracing our show, and so uh, much we much always uh, keep on chatting. <laughs> now, yeah. now, Bench, I can be also her friend. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah. Um, hi, Justina. Welcome to Ganap TV hi. as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah. I'm so and can you, yeah. Can you greet our viewers, Miss Justina? Uh, hi, hello, everyone. So I'm so honored to come here to meet up with everyone. I hope that uh, after this pandemic, I will uh, come to vi uh, visit the uh, Philippines as soon as possible to meet up with all my queen and my national directors. Wow. And we're excited to see you in person as well. Yeah. <laughs> and we're well. You are very welcome, you know, in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And we so are much. also excited to visit Singapore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been. I've been to Singapore. You know, it's a lovely. What country. a lovely country. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, Miss Mrs. Worldwide 2019, Miss Panel Chua. Can you greet our viewers? Oh, definitely. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for inviting me as a special guest tonight. And hello, Philippines. <laughs> hello, <laughs> welcome, Miss Panel. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. We never stop welcoming them. 
<laughs> That's how you know, we're just Filipinos have to have fun are. tonight. Yeah. You know, we're just yeah. mm-hmm. kind of chat, you know, converse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, don't be stressed out. <laughs> Just yeah. enjoy the night. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, first, uh, we just wanted to check the situation in uh, Singapore, Miss Justina. Um, well, the pandemics, uh, right now we are going into phase three because for the locals, uh, uh, COVID, uh, even today we have mm-hmm. We are looking for the Mrs. Worldwide International to be host in Singapore again uh, next year in March. Hopefully everything is fine and then um, we have all the beautiful queens to flow over from all over the country to Singapore for the World Finals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yes. uh, and we're looking forward to the international yeah. event. Okay. Yeah. And, and to uh, Miss Worldwide, Mrs. Worldwide, Singapore, mm-hmm. right? Am yeah. I right? So, how was your journey on this um, competition? competition? And if you already won, um, I, w- I just want to ask first, is the, the, is, is the competition was also um, digital? Or, or, or is it live? Or is it a face-to-face event? Uh, I, it's not uh, it's not live on uh, social media, but uh, it was held at a beautiful ballroom whereby um, beautiful delegates from all over the world we will judge by uh, ten judges during that night. So um, to me, this is a very beautiful journey um, because to represent Singapore um, is really a very great honor, and to bring back this international crown for Singapore for the first time. I think this is the proudest moment of my life and I really um, inspire a lot of Queen to look forward to uh, having this same spirit and bring on more honor for Singapore. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. So um, are you going to compete also in the international competition? Uh, already done. Uh, I ah, was okay. The, yeah. So yeah. you are the winner. Yes. You are the winner. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. So we are actually looking forward um, for the next new queen to be crowned. So hopefully, you know, um, I hope that COVID will just um, pass by soon, you know, so that we can mm-hmm. continue with crowning of the next new queen. But of course, I'm still enjoying my reign as a Mrs. Worldwide 2019 to 2020. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. now bench. So mm-hmm. Miss Diana Tan was our representative during yeah, this. Yeah, that's so why. Now, yes, yes, so I'm, that's my I'm on queen. my head now. <laughs> <laughs> because I, you know, you know what, Miss Justina and Miss Padel, Janice, uh, she just uh, he just arrived from a uh, short vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I just arrived tonight. You know. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and we wanted to know more about the advocacy of Mrs. Worldwide, Miss Justina. Okay, for Mrs. Worldwide, in fact, we have three uh, slogans that I always remember. Um, the first one is respect uh, nature, because mm-hmm. we, we are looking into uh, a, a real Venus, a woman that is a married woman, of course, that is uh, natural beauties, and uh, um, you know the love unconditionally. The third one is love unconditionally. And the other one is, um, what you got uh, for now? The three slogans. Respect nature, live healthy, and love unconditionally. Yeah, this is the three slogan that we always portray to our, um, you know, women of uh, uh, Mrs. Worldwide. Um, you know, so this is the three key things that we are looking into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, what a great advocacy. Yeah. And uh, so um, I just have a question then for Miss Justina. So yes. what made you think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and also later, Miss Panela. But I just want, I'm just curious about like you know what brought you this kind of an idea? You know to come up with the um, you know a married women mm-hmm. uh, on a competition, um, a beauty pageant like that. Okay, because for me, under my umbrella, we have three international pageants for Mrs. Um, the first one, of course, is Mrs. Bobite. Uh, and the second one is uh, Mrs. 
Global Universe. I think uh, Ms. Z, my Philippine National Director, she holds about seven licenses from me for the Mrs. And the third one is Mrs. Asia Pacifics, whereby Yvonne, uh, you know, from Philippines, she has won the international titles. For Ileana, she, she won the uh, first runner, am I right? First runner for Mrs. Worldwide. So, what's the reason why I, um, you know, I organized beauty pageant? First thing, because I'm a, um, you know, um, I'm a mother of four, and um, of course, I want to empower women to stay beautiful, the best version of themselves. Of course, that's what Vanelle's always say, the best version of yourself. And also to, you know, come out of the comfort zone to challenge, be it whether it's their knowledge, their beauty. Uh, because in our beauty contest, um, be it the national contest or the international contest, we always have uh, the whole bonding trip, to say. So we'll go through even photo shooting and uh, video shoot, and we'll go through a bonding game on the last day. Um, you know, the, from this uh, beauty pageants, we always see the girls uh, how they maintain themselves, how they prepare for their, their competitions. Um, you know, and how they they go through the whole journey is is quite is quite tough in the mid in, in the whole journey because um time management is very important. I can see that how they wake up early in the morning. How how many? Well, what time after now? It's always in the six right six to seven. Four 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 a.m. Four a.m. I still remember the lady will have to wake up at four a.m. and then the of course they have to prepare their makeups. A hairdo and their whichever costume they have to do, and they go for the whole round of photo shoots on the day two, and uh, they also have to prepare their natural costumes, photo shoots, um, and also a talent round. I still remember the talent round. So you know, for this whole seven days journey, um, it's a really a good and tough uh, um, schedule for the right beauty queens. Because it's always time management and you're very short. You can see the how how the winners how they um, portray themselves in the in the manners of um, patience, you know, in the manners of how they handle their even their belongings, right? Sometimes they will just if let's say a, a, a very tough and also a well prepared queen, they always well manage their, 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 their gown, their natural costume. They will put in a nice place. They will not hang, you know, just one side. So. You, from this seven day, you'll see the right winner. You know, if you can see that today, even for now, very fast, I say, I think uh, Bench told me it's 10 a.m. today. You see? So, our witness, our winners uh, react very fast. Say, okay, fine. 10, she's appeared. And she's always, you know, on time. That is what we find the right winner. Yeah. Beautiful, kind, patient, and well prepared, knowledgeable. And of course, with the poise. Yeah, so this is how we have, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's why we, have 10, we have 10 judges. We mm -hmm. have 10 judges from the different, um, uh, you know, different scope of industries. I think we even have a pre-judging. So based on the 10 judges, um, because all the score will be divided into 10, you see? So, you know, it's quite difficult to... Um, to to get the winner, if that's, it's not easy to get in you know, without without the ten judges. So you know, it's it's not easy. But uh, that's we find the winners, the right winner for Mrs. Worldwide. Mm. Wow! Yeah. So there you have it. Uh, to all the ladies who wanted to join, uh, you should listen to Miss Justina for <laughs> you know your the requirements. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, so I, have I have a question, question for Miss uh, Panel. Uh, how competitive you are during the pageant? Um, actually, usually, I always feel this way, be in a pageant or in your personal life. I think the only challenger is yourself. So don't compete against any other people. Um, because when you compete against yourself and you can win yourself, that's the self-confidence that you really have in yourself. So with that confidence, actually with that positive mindset, you really can make a lot of things happen and uh, fulfill it. Um, to win a beauty queen crown, um, to represent Singapore, this has always been my childhood dream. So I didn't stop um, thinking about this. So 
when I decided to join Lumia for Mrs. Singapore in 2018, uh, I told myself, do my best, get the best high score that I can. And um, eventually I really won the title. And this really gave me the opportunity to represent Singapore. And so like 50% my dream really come true. So the next one is I need to win back this crown for Singapore. So uh, a lot of planning was, um, uh, it took me, I think, my preparation for one year. Yeah, uh, try to enhance myself, you know, educate myself, read more online and then um, try, to, try to make myself to be a better person, which Justina said earlier on, always be the best of yourself because in this way, then you will feel confident and you don't really have to feel the surrounding of, uh, around you and then put yourself in the position whereby you might feel so negative because once you're confident i think in life you really can just go a long way down the road yeah and, and uh, accomplish a lot of things that you have in mind yeah wow <laughs> yeah so i have a question with panel yeah. um so have you have you joined also competition during your Single years, you're, you know. <laughs> Am I supposed to say that, Mama? Justina? Ken? Okay. Uh, I used to join Miss Singapore when I was 20, which is year 2000. Um, but quite pitied. I always get second runner-up. I was <laughs> never the winner. So this is a real regret in my life when I was like in my youth, you know. So... Uh, three years ago, I got married, so I asked my husband, my spouse, um, are you fine if I go for Mrs. Singapore? Because I want to fulfill this dream. I want to be a beauty queen. So he tell me, just go ahead, go with your heart. Um, <laughs> your dream is there. Go, go and pursue it. I believe mm -hmm. that you can do it. Yeah. So yeah. this is the, yeah, all my yes. experience that I have here. Actually, I asked these questions because um, as what I heard from Justina, that's why I asked the question from her. Why did you? I uh, had this, uh, uh, you know, had this um, married pageant. women um, mm -hmm. uh, for pageant for a pageant, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I just heard from her, like, um, because you you were taught and learned how to be patient, and and because you're already married, I think you already gone through a lot of patience, you know. <laughs> 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 and I'm sure uh, being a married woman, you have a lot uh, more experience and more knowledgeable about life. So actually, it's not oh, just like beauty. It's all about, you know, how you carry yourself, about, yeah. you know, how you, um, as a woman, yeah. it's, 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 it's the whole essence of a woman who gives birth, who, you know, marry the man and be a procreator as well. You know, these are so important that we have to understand why we have this a married pageant for, you know, um, yeah. uh, for mm -hmm. a pageant, right? So mm -hmm. I think we have to understand that, you know, I salute this pageant for married women because this is more likely, more important because um, beauty fades, right? Yeah. But, mm -hmm. you know, your experience in life would give us the knowledge and wisdom to carry on the crown, you know? So that's why I keep on telling Bench, you know, uh, like all the winners, I told them, you know, you don't wear your crown on your head. You, you wear it on your heart. Right, yes. Yeah. So yes. I can be a beauty pageant also. <laughs> no, welcome. Maybe we'll have Mr. Worldwide I'm and then John can you. come and join. <laughs> you know, uh, John, so it means uh, to all the single uh, ladies right now, so you still have the chance even you are already married. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. you know, um, being a being a um, this pageant, those women. You know, this is what I wonder. You know, is this every woman's dream to be a beauty pageant? <laughs> to be I, I a think so. I, I mean, every every lady would love to be beautiful, right? When you know, yeah. actually, every woman is beautiful. It's just that they they really must know the way you know to express it out. You know, I mean, you can have a pretty face, but if you don't have a beautiful mindset and kind heart, I, I mean that your, your quality of beauty is just only here, you know? Yeah, so um, 
I think it is some of the, maybe not majority of the women that want to be a beauty queen, but I am very sure every woman will love to be complimented. Like, oh, you're beautiful, you know. It, it can be a beautiful attitude that you have, you know. It doesn't really have to be physically, yeah. <laughs> so much. But that wonderful answer. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much. 10 for 10. 10, 10. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Justina, is there that any is, uh, is, is there any uh schedule for the next year's pageant? Oh yes. Um for 2020 uh, in fact it's actually 2020 the grand final is supposed to be in uh October if I'm not right. Correct? For now, yes. since October, which is every uh, every year is in October, but because due to the pandemic, um, the borders has already closed. So we have postponed the, the pageants to 2021 in March. So March will be the grand final. Hopefully there's no, um, by December, hopefully the borders will be open from Singapore. Um, mm -hmm. And also we hope that uh, the, the vaccines will be ready soon in, uh, in March. So the, for 2021, we're looking into about 30 countries. I think the um, Philippines has already ready because they already got the, 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 the Mrs. Philippine Queen worldwide the next week. And uh, for Russia, it's uh, already. Um, I guess almost all of the country, they have already selected their representative. Now it's only waiting for the borders to, to open and uh, you know, we have to postpone to next year. Because every year uh, during our pageant, we will, we will visit some of our neighbors' country. Um, uh, we'll, um, for Mrs. Worldwide, we they visit uh, the, the Indonesia, which is Batam. It's just only a 35 uh, parish drive. Uh, you know, we will, we will go there for photo shoot and video shoot. And that is the time whereby the lady has to wake up very, very early. You know, and uh, without any assistance, so they have to wake up and do their own makeup. You know, um, and for Mrs. Asia Pacific, which is uh, Avon, Avon's has uh, a crown last year. They will be going to their neighbor country, which is Malaysia. And sadly to say that Malaysia and um, Indonesia Batam is now uh, the border has is is closed. So hopefully by. Um, uh, Beginning of uh, 2021, the border will be open and uh, all show will be uh, ready. I think uh, Philippines is very lucky because you you, um, you know uh, they can you know organize pageants. For Singapore, totally no event, zero event, zero. We can only have a <laughs> gathering of five person. Yeah. Yeah. So we had well, most of yeah most of the activities here are uh, virtual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just had the live uh, uh, f uh, grand finals, uh, uh, the, the live event. Yeah. And direct bench is the director of the event. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, thank you, Mrs. Queen of Hearts of uh, Philippines for trusting me to be the creative director. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so uh, if you want to hire <laughs> just you know, if you want to hire bench for your um virtual <laughs> show. Yeah. <laughs> we can talk about it. <laughs> Let's do it actually. <laughs> Let's do the virtual uh show. So and, for, but, for, mm -hmm. for Heart, I saw they have the stage and everything. Is it the virtual show or they are actually on the stage, right? Uh for, for the pageants. During the final that was uh live. Yeah, like, yeah. But the, all the candidates uh, can be together. But for Singapore, yeah. it's a bit difficult because they, they don't even allow uh, all the candidates to be together oh. because they only have a maximum of five packs. So mm. it's a bit, a bit difficult. Yeah, a bit yeah. Difficult. That's, that's what um, Direct Bench did, be, um, you know, for the costume, national costume, mm -hmm. the introduction yeah, video. Nice. Yeah. yeah, for the talent. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I still want to ask Panel, like yeah. you're gonna um, pass the throne, the crown to the, the next crown. <laughs> So, um, are you still gonna push through with your advocacy, with the things that you're doing as a queen, since you're already a queen? Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you uh, do you have any other plans aside from you know, um, 
passing through the crown to the next queen? Uh, I don't think that when I pass the crown to a new queen and my task is done. To me, uh, a beauty queen should be, you know, um, it's, not, it's not like a hobby, but it will be part of my lifetime, you know, role. So I will still be involved with Lumia International with Justina. And I really hope that if uh, COVID has ended, we can make um, trips for to certain country for charity purposes, you know. Um, even though I am not the reigning queen of the year, but I think that to represent Singapore, to represent Lumia, uh, that is still my main important role, you know, other than my full-time job that I am doing right now. Um, Beauty Queen is not about winning the crown, just be beautiful in a photo shoot or having an interview look, looking good, you know. I think it's the effort that we have to do, be a woman of empowerment and get more women to step out and know that they can really do more than what they are doing right now. Because I think a lot of ladies who are married already, they thought that, oh, their life is... It's a crochet, you know. It's just a marriage life, having children, you know. No, it's not that. I think uh, we have a very wide journey out there waiting for us. Okay, we can always come together as one. And we just want to promote Lumia and let people know that, hey, Singapore have this, you know, organization. that's so good in pageantry and they are beautiful and a beautiful mindset lady in a group like us, you know. So waiting for girls, uh, ladies to join us in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not a good answer. <laughs> yeah. So I also have a question for Miss Panel. Uh, going back to the pageant, before the pageant, uh, what was the preparations you did before the pageant? Oh, okay. Uh, this is just uh, an advice uh, to all the, to the candidates. Team. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's very important that you must know every segment of the uh, pageant judging round that you're going through. Okay, uh, like national costume and evening gown. And then uh, I think your poise and your catwalk is very important. Okay, the gown can be very beautiful on you. But if you don't know how to bring out the essence of that gown together with you, like combination that you're together as one, I think it's not... Um, it's not worth for the judge to give you like a high point for that. So um, I changed a lot in my catwalk uh, because I have a beautiful gown custom made for the evening gown. So uh, I did uh, think of how to, you know, even like when I'm standing, which angle is my best angle, you know, I would just practice it in the mirror. Yeah, don't be surprised. Maybe other queens are doing that as well, you know. And um, to be able to speak well during Q&A, that is very important. So I think you really need to read up. You need to know more about the current situation in the world, you know, be knowledgeable and do not panic because some people on the stage, right, they will have stage fright and all that. That's when your mind's blank and then whatever preparation you've done is really going down the drain. So be yourself, be confident. I always emphasize on confident lady because um, if I can feel you're confident in you, I really will just take a, even a second or third look my last look will always be on you. Yeah, that's more. That's the most attractive thing about women when they're confident. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh -huh, thank you. Nice. I thought that I'm going another round Q and A on stage <laughs> right now. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Another questions for Miss Panel. Do you have yeah. any um, um, you know, beauty queen that you look forward? Um during your, you know, your, your pageantry, your, you know, your journey in the pageant, you know, you, because some of the um, pageant usually eyeing for those um, queens, um, queens, your previous winners of the pageant. So do you have any idols in the pageant? I, I actually do have one, but please don't be alarmed. <laughs> it's uh, Miss Universe. 2015 Pierre. Pia was smart. Yes, oh, from wow. Philippines. I think she's wow. a really big inspiration, you know. Yes. Um, she, she might not be that um, tall and all that, you know, but her confidence level on that night is amazing. I have to say, Philippine. Really. Thank you so much. We're so yeah. honored. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> 
Philippines really have a lot of good delegates, you know, really, really for all pageant. I have to say that, yeah. So, Thank you so John, much. I think let's start the throwing uh, some question, pageant questions oh. for Miss Pandan. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'll start the question. Okay. So, okay. Here, here we go. So, what makes you different from the other girls you uh, com competed last uh, during your pageant? What makes me different? Mm, I think my confident level. Um, I, I have always been a very confident lady. And uh, when, I on the, when I am on the stage, right, I felt that the whole stage belongs to me. Yeah. And I just know that I can knew it that night. And that's it. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay. So my question... Mm. For Miss Panel. So now um, you have won the crown. So um, do you think that this crown would go farther than, um, you know, than your, your crowning moment? Oh, you mean that this crown will go further than my crown? Further, crowning yeah. Moment? Um, yes. I think I already accept that because I accept it because. Um, in fact, I think I am the inspiration and role model of Lumiere right now. And a lot of queens actually came to me and asked me for advice, like, how, how do I do it? You know, uh, what are the flaws that I have that I have to change? You know, they will, they will come to me, like, individually. And I became a pageant advisor. So I think pageant advisor is even higher than a beauty queen crown now, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll, be, I'll be very happy to share with queen not only from Singapore, uh, Anybody, you know, uh, in fact, I'm looking forward to meet up with all the delegates for the next uh, Mrs. Worldwide. Uh, it's a good time for me to bond, have a good bonding with all the ladies from all over the world. Yeah, I really miss that actually, but too bad I have no more chance to go for international anymore. <laughs> no, yeah, no more pageant for me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you so much you for so this much. wonderful time that, uh, you know, we had. Oh, my so, pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. Thank you so and, much. And uh, can we just ask uh, some uh, message from Miss Justina? Mm -hmm. Hi. Especially these trying times. Yeah. Um, okay, a simple message from me. Um, being a woman uh, is actually the highest, more, uh, highest roles, you know, in the, for everything. Especially, you know, you'll be the mothers and a daughter and a daughter-in-law, you know, and even the mentor, the teachers. So, you know, um, my message to all the ladies is be yourself, love yourself, and also be kind to yourself, okay? Love the nature. Love everyone, and also, um, you know, uh, if you can help, you know, now especially in the pandemic, you can help, you can support, uh, just go and do it because this is the best uh, version uh, as a woman. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How about uh, Miss Panel? Can you uh, give us some messages? Ah, okay. Um, I always believe that a dream is a picture of possibility. So if you have a very good mindset and confident, uh, you definitely can turn that into reality. But first, you must be yourself, like Justina has said. And what I believe in myself always is be my, be my own kind of beautiful. Because when you believe that you're beautiful, then you're confident enough, you know, to face the world, to face yourself and inspire people to be a better person. Yeah, to be kind, I think it's very important, you know, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank a wonderful you. message for yeah. both uh, Justina and Fanel. Now, I just want to ask a message from Bench. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, as a uh, director of the event of the you pageant, know, um, what can I, you I say really, about? Uh, yeah, I really believe uh, on uh, what Miss Justina said about being, uh, you know, being confident, being, uh, uh, 
being uh, true to yourself, especially if you are, um, if you if, if you want to join in this kind of uh, agent, you must be prepared, not just, uh, you know, physically, but emotionally, and of course, uh, spiritually. So from there, you will have not just the crown, but uh, it's um, reward to yourself. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lampage, you have to ask John, is it? Yeah, so how about you, John? What is your message? <laughs> yeah, what I can say about for, um, you know, Fanel and Miss Justina, you just had a beautiful journey with this pageant because I believe that, you know, beauty fades, but what's so important is the character and attitude that you um, built. Um, during your journey and that you can carry on. That's why I asked that to Miss Panel, that you don't, ch you, you, the crown doesn't stay there. It's going to go further than that. And that which means that you go a long way because you already set as a role model, that's what she said a while ago. So I think um, women for today, it's about time for you to carry, you know, if you don't win the crown, if you're not joining any pageant or whatever, you still have your crown with you because you know as a woman you know as a married woman you 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 know you already have those crowns with you your your jewels like your children your husband and i think those things that you carry along with you are the people who will be the one that will really say she is the woman the gift of God. <laughs> and the winner is <laughs> yes. John Martins. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everyone. We really and, had a beautiful a fun tonight. Yeah, thank we you had for inviting uh, us. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much yeah. for inviting us. Uh, John, yeah. we would like we would like to thank our super chatters and new members uh, in our YouTube channel. So Thank you so much, guys, for the support. So, uh, for now, here are the Super Chatters. The Nap TV Online would like to thank the following Super Chatters and new members. So, we have Marge, Eden, uh, Tech PH, Technics PH, Eden Auditor, Jensky Vlad. Uh, who else? Thank you so much, everyone. Wow, we already have members. We're excited. Thank you so much. Wow, now for our friends there who have not yet clicked the button, it's about time Click for the you to join, yeah. join us and be a member of Ganap TV. And yeah. we will, I'm sure we're going to have more fun here in mm -hmm. Ganap TV. And you will receive a lot of perks, like we will uh, give you uh, watch hours. Uh, we will flex your channel every time uh, we have an episode. So we will also uh, include your logo, uh, YouTube uh, channel logo in our um, every episode. So there's a lot Why of Why not perks. later on we can see them live yeah. together. Uh, can be our guests, you know. Mm, exactly, yeah. So <laughs> we'll have a Zoom party here. In <laughs> yeah. <channel. laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank yeah. you. God bless. God bless you all. Yeah. And dahil sa ganap TV, TV kayo, kayo ang vida. Ang vida. Yay! Tonight.